Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be using negligee as my base um, cover. Crystal glass, honey pearl, black diamonds, mango tango and flamingo. I'm also going to be using Sonia Williams glitters from the cocktail collection the green uh, blue pink one and the orange one which i'll show you later my liz gill brush and the one monomer so this is going to be a bright set the set that i put up yesterday i did on myself um but it just wasn't me i didn't like it so it, it didn't even last 24 hours i put it on and then a couple of hours later i took it off because i just it was a nice set but it just wasn't for me so I've put in on another set, I filed off all that set, soaked off, applied fresh tips, did all my prep work, well I did all my prep work, then applied tips, and um, applied my clear base using negligee. Um, I'm going to start using negligee for my uh, bases now, so save my crystal glass a little bit because I don't use negligee at all, and I use quite a bit of crystal glass, so I'm going to start using that for bases, unless I'm doing a glass tip and then I will use crystal clear but here I'm just doing a side swoosh um, nail bed using honey pearl and here I'm just covering the nail bed with that honey pearl too So this is Cosmopolitan and the other one, I can't see the name of them. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing this on the pointer finger and I'm going to be doing like um, an ombre with the two glitters. So I'm going to put the orange one on the tip and then blend the pink one down because I'm going to be doing a three colour ombre on some of the other nails. So I just want to do the same but with the glitter. And then I apply the pink one on the top and I do it at sort of an angle. So I bring the pink one down further down on the one side of the tip and up the cuticle on the other side. And then I take the orange up a bit further on the other side. So because I'm using black diamonds on the ring finger and I'm not using it anywhere else, I just thought I'd pop on a couple of these black butterflies that I bought from Amazon. They're in a multi-pack of like different colour butterflies and I'm just using the black ones and just place them on the nail just so I can tie a bit more black into this set because I'm using black diamonds on the ring finger. So this is Mango Tango, I'm going to be doing this on the pinky finger, the middle finger and the thumb and I'm just starting off applying, like I said, the Mango Tango on the very edge of this tip.
and then I'll come back and just cap this pointer finger. On the ring finger I'm going to be doing a first swoosh with black so I'm just going around that um, sort of side swoosh smile line type thing I've got going on and just building that up to the wall and building another wall for the next colour to go up to and I'm going to build this the same height because I'm not going to cap this nail so I'm building it the same height that I want my finished nail to be So the second part of this ombre I'm using the flamingo, I'm just blending it down over the orange and then I take a bit of that mango tango and blend it back. I'm not too worried about the uh, blend at this point because I am going to be adding some glitter on these and ombre in over with the honey pearl. So I just want it to get as close to perfect as I can get it. So on this finger I did knock some into the cuticle there and then I used my brush to try and wipe it away which is not a good idea. When I'm doing nails I'm usually in the zone not thinking about things and I just went it with my brush and then I thought oh, I shouldn't have done that because you shouldn't get um, monomer or products on the skin. So um, once I finish this as you can see there it was a quick clip I do go off and um, wash it off properly with some soap and water. Um, just like getting it on a little brush and giving it a scrub to get the product off my skin um, Even though I've done it with the brush I would advise anybody not to touch the skin So don't do what I did because that was very naughty So yeah here I am just doing this on the thumb And then I go back and file that next line of the black diamonds And then I come in with the flamingo and again I go up the side edge so I'm putting on a small bead just to tickle it up that spot, um, side edge and bringing it down and I'm just following it around the black diamonds and um, going around making another line and again I'm not going to cap this even though flamingo and mango tango are design powders so you do meant to cap them because I'm using them in a very small area I decided not to cap them I decided to go, just go straight on and um, so yeah I'll let you know if I have any problems with them but I have done it before with the design powder as long as it's not a full nail um, it's usually pretty sound um, I have used that honey pearl and the black diamonds which are both strength powders across the um, majority of the nail in the apex area so the flamingo and the um, mango tango are on the very edge and then I go back to the three colour ombres and complete them using the honey pearl and blending it down and then I get some of that Sonia Williams glitter and I just pick it up with a wet brush I don't apply any more crystal glass I just dip my wet brush into the glitter and I'm just tapping it on so I'm tapping the orange glitter over the orange just in a line and the pink glitter across just in a line and that sort of evens out that ombre a little bit that isn't so perfect. 
just disguises it a little bit and then I add a little black butterfly on the tip and I do the same on the middle finger and the thumb So I've added that last bit of mango tango to the very edge and then I, I think I cap off camera. I'm not sure. But they do get capped and f I definitely fall off camera anyway, far and above off camera. And I'll just see if I left the capping in. I can't remember. I only did the set today and I can't remember what I filmed and what I didn't film. No, I didn't. I didn't leave it in. So I forgot to press record when I did the uh, top coating on the other hand. So I've recorded it on this hand when I did this one. Because we all know it's the best bit. So I'm using the time to shine top coat. I've got a new bottle. So I apply a generous amount on each nail. This is a nice thick top coat. So um, it is absolutely lovely. And then I cure it in my lamp for 60 seconds. So this is a set complete guys, so I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I absolutely love the bright colours, absolutely love them. And I love black and orange together. It's my favourite combo. Um, so yeah, if you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Hello to all my lovely new subscribers, thank you for joining me. Um, I hope you enjoy this channel. And I will look forward to speaking to you all in the next video. So for now, bye bye.